If you love all things aesthetic and you've been anywhere on the internet, then you've probably heard of Pinterest. I love getting inspired by the creativity on there and today I thought I would bring you along on a productive Pinterest inspired day in the life. Good morning everybody. So today I thought it would be fun to do a productive day in my life Pinterest inspired. I've been super obsessed with Pinterest and I just love everything aesthetically pleasing on there. My place needs a little bit of a reset because I went to visit my parents again last weekend. So I have to unpack a little bit and I didn't get the chance to do my weekly reset routine. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before anything, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna make this Pinterest inspired breakfast, which is avocado toast. I tend to cook very similar breakfasts almost every day, so today I'd like to try this avocado toast recipe. When I was in university, there was this restaurant that made avocado toast and it was so delicious, I swear I had it twice a day sometimes. They put bruschetta on top as well and I could eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ever since, I've been looking for an avocado toast that can compete against it, but nothing can even compare. So let's see how this one matches up. Okay, a little taste test. I definitely added too much salt, but it's okay. <laughs> Pretty good. I think my bread is too small though. Okay guys, the next task at hand is to try to put on some Pinterest inspired makeup. I like putting on makeup, but I'm not super creative with it. Like I do the same thing almost every time. So it's kind of fun to try to do something new. So I think I'm gonna try, wait, I haven't decided which one I wanted to do. <laughs> no, it's recording now. It is? Yeah. You in the aesthetic. That was good. Let's begin. Red leaves are in the breeze, Nashville. And now I share this bed with someone new. Something's in the way the sunlight's hidden. It's got me thinking about you. I'm the type of person that has been wearing the same makeup every time I put on makeup literally since I started in middle school. Over time, I've adjusted a bit but it's always been nothing super fancy. I like to play it safe. I've always wanted to try different makeup styles like straight brows, freckles, or siren eyes but I seriously don't think I have the talent for it. At least I tried. Okay, I'm done. I think it looks really bad in real life. <laughs> A lot of the makeup and stuff, I think, on Pinterest and like YouTube, that's really heavy, can look really good on camera, but really, really strange in real life. Additionally, my makeup skills are really limited, so yeah, <laughs> it is what it is, you know? 
Now time to put on an outfit and then do a little reset of my living room. Okay, this is the outfit I'm going with today. A little comfy lounge attire. These pants are from Aritzia. And this top is from like Joey Higgs Hollister, I think. I would love to <laughs> Actually kind of cool. The vibe from my living room was actually inspired when I was scrolling through Pinterest and I totally fell in love with this style of couch. I thought it was so cute but also super unique and it kind of reminds me of those bubble candles like the one I placed on my coffee table. The place is currently a bit messy right now because we were gone to visit my parents last weekend which is usually when we do our reset routine. So now I'm going to tackle this mess. I always declutter everything first then wipe the counters and finally vacuum. In order to not get overwhelmed at the end of each month, month or week, I think it's super important for me to tidy a bit every day and keep everything at least somewhat organized. I like to think of everything as having a place and after I use the area, reset everything back to normal. At this time, I also want to remind everyone that being productive or healthy doesn't have to look aesthetic. Clearly, none of my video clips or pictures look exactly Pinterest perfect and it doesn't have to. As I said in my last video, how things feel is much more important than how it looks. We can get inspired by pictures or videos, but we don't have to have the exact same workout set or products. I think it can be satisfying and motivating to play everything perfectly, to make the bed flawlessly, but some days we don't feel like it. We can just throw everything on the table or throw our pillows on the sheet. After a much needed snack and a little water break, I am ready to finally tackle my room. It's not even that bad, I feel like I'm just being dramatic right now. My bedroom is definitely a safe space for me. I like to keep it simple and not have too much going on, although I think I want to add something to the walls in the future. My bed frame is totally broken though from when I was moving and honestly every time I sit on it I feel like this is it. This is when it falls apart and it starts creaking and croaking but it hasn't broken yet. Hi guys, it's editing Rebecca here and thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it this far and it would help me out so much if you would like, leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers which is crazy. You can leave a comment down below because I read every single one of my comments and I try to reply as well. And lastly, it's been a while since we did a journal prompt so I think today's journal prompt would be what are some things that inspire you? What type of creators inspire you and why do they inspire you what makes you look up to them or want to become better all right i'll let you get back to the video have a lovely day bye it's all these sweet little moments with you out of this place Alright guys, I want to go on a run now and I really want to get one of those cute Pinteresty shots where it's like 0.5 and you have the headphones down. <laughs> oh, I'm wearing this backwards. It's actually super warm outside so I'm not quite sure how long I'm going to go for today but I'm going to aim for at least 
three kilometers. Cause how can I try to cross all the lines that we Guys, I literally sweat so much when I run. I used to be so self-conscious to run outside because my face becomes a tomato. I breathe so hard and I run slowly. But in the end, I realized that nobody cares and I shouldn't care either. Whenever I run, I try to set a goal for myself at the beginning. And even if I have to take breaks, I try to reach that goal. Realistic goal, of course. It was so hot outside today and the sun was beaming on my face. I totally wish I wore a hat. Alright, we have decided to go with this Pinterest recipe Veggie Lovers Baked Rigatoni But we're missing like three ingredients So we're gonna go to the grocery store now Don't worry darling Which one? Just smile Cause you're by my side Trying new dinner recipes can be super fun and I'm trying to learn more recipes that can yield a lot of leftovers and eventually I really want to learn how to okay, meal prep. Avocado oil. After all this time you read between these lines Feeling fine Cause you said This is all you want All I'm saying, saying, saying I'm on it Waiting, waiting, waiting I call you mine I know you feel the same as I do No more playing, wishing, waiting I was taking, taking, taking Productive Pinterest inspired day is to put on these sheet masks. I see people on Pinterest put on these masks all the time, but I haven't done one in like years. So here we go. I definitely didn't look like the Pinterest girlies, but my face did feel super hydrated and I felt like a self care queen. Anyways, today was super fun but also productive. And I know life can be hard to navigate sometimes, but at least we can go through this together. Well, I'm not sure if this is as aesthetic as Pinterest, but it sure does feel moisturizing. Let's see how Mike reacts. It's safe to say this much. I like it on the side of the 
A snowman. I feel like my mom, she does this all the time. Yo, you look like how you seen the movie The Mask. Yeah, that's scary. What? The movie? Uh, like seri the serial killer? No, oh. the funny one. Oh, no. Goodbye, thank you for watching. <laughs>